You all would have heard this term at least once in your life. Such is the kind of buzz that artificial intelligence or AI has created. Almost everything in today's world uses AI in some way or the other. Be it your daily Netflix recommendations or predicting the stock market prices. With more and more data being generated each day, the need for technologies like AI is now more than ever. So what really is artificial intelligence? AI is the science of simulating human behavior in machines that are programmed to perform tasks like humans and mimic their actions. Any machine that exhibits human-like traits such as problem solving and learning constitutes AI. Ever wondered about how a Tesla drives by itself from one place to another without the intervention of any humans? This is possible due to AI. You would be surprised to know how that AI is not a new technology. It all started with the simple question can machines think, which was asked by mathematician Alan Turing in the year 1950. A side note, Alan Turing was the man behind decoding the Nazi encryption machine called Enigma, which led to the victory of allied forces in the World War II. The term artificial intelligence was first coined in the year 1955 by John McCarthy from Dartmouth College, Nathaniel Rochester from IBM, Marvin Minsky from Harvard University and Claude Shannon from Bell Telephone Laboratory. The first artificial intelligence program The Logical Theorist was presented by Alan Newell, Herbert Simon and Cliff Shaw at the Dartmouth Conference in the year 1956. The program was designed to mimic humans' problem-solving skills and went on to prove 38 of the 52 theorems of Principia Mathematica by Whitehead and Russell. From imitating mere problem-solving skills to currently building driverless cars, we can see the significant improvement of AI over the years. Now, how does AI work? The main principle of AI is feeding input data, processing it, analyzing it for any patterns or correlations and then using these patterns to make predictions or future decisions. Therefore, it emphasizes on three human-like behaviors, learning, reasoning, and realizing. Learning. In this stage, the main focus is to acquire data and make rules or algorithms as to how we can turn that data into something useful. After defining a certain number of algorithms in this learning stage, we now have to choose which is the best one for the task. This is done in the reasoning stage. In the realizing stage, the algorithms are trained over and over again with the right data to ensure that they provide accurate predictions and make important decisions. With that, now we will look into four major subdomains of AI, namely machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing, and robotics. We will now be discussing these in detail. Firstly, let us look at machine learning. Machine learning or ML is the idea or the science of computer programs that can automatically learn from their previous experiences and adapt to the new challenges without any human intervention. It is one of the most used and demanding fields of AI and that is the reason we will be discussing it more in detail. The machine learning algorithms are coded in certain order to perform tasks, analyze and predict information from the given data. And depending on the type of data that is available and what they want to be predicted out of the data, ML algorithms can be divided into three types. Supervised learning. Supervised learning algorithms are the most commonly used type of algorithms. You may ask why. It is due to the fact that they are simple and easy to implement. The input is in the form of label example pairs which are usually in a text, spreadsheet or a CSV file. These label example pairs are fed one by one to the learning algorithm allowing it to predict the right label for each example. The algorithms are focused on one single task or a problem. An example of label example pair is as shown below. Here you can see that the employee name, employee ID, gender, position, department and employee satisfaction are all attributes of one dataset. Moving on to the next one unsupervised learning. We can say that supervised and unsupervised learning are two extreme ends. Here we do not give a specific target for the model nor do we give it a feedback. Instead the machine only has to find a way to learn by itself. Input data is usually in the form of unlabeled data and unstructured data, which is basically data that contains missing values or unknown data. 
Examples of unstructured data include text files, flat files, system logs, etc. Moving on to the next one, we have reinforcement learning. The models in reinforcement learning are trained to make not one, but a sequence of decisions in an interactive or a complex environment by using the feedback from its own previous experiences and decisions. Here, the models use trial and error methods. An example of this would be self-driving cars. The input data here consists of data from a wide variety of sensors on the car. If you guys want to know more about machine learning, there is a dedicated video for that for which I'll be providing the link in the description box down below. Moving on to the second subdomain of AI, Deep Learning. Explaining this will be easier now as we already know what machine learning is. We can say that it is a type of AI that teaches a computer to behave exactly like that of the human brain. From the learning stages to predicting and classifying information, a deep learning network processes and analyzes data like how a normal human brain would process it. This is done with the help of neural networks. Neural networks are a set of algorithms that are modeled after the human brain with recognizing patterns as the main motive. Structure of a neural network consists of a number of nodes which are loosely designed to compute like that of a neuron in the human brain. Typically, neurons are arranged in a series of layers, the input layer, which receives various forms of data from the outside world, the hidden layer, this is where the computations happen. This layer consists of many units and its main job is to convert the input data into something that can be used by the third layer, which is the output layer. An analogy of deep learning would be that of a child who is learning a new language. The next subdomain of AI is Natural Language Processing or NLP as it commonly called. NLP deals with communication between humans and machines by natural language. The technique involves processing of human languages and it enables the computers to read and understand data, mainly by imitating human natural language. In layman words, NLP algorithms try to break down the language into shorter, simple pieces, understand the correlations between those pieces and determine how the pieces can be put together to create meaning. NLP is important as it makes it possible for computers to hear speech, read text, interpret it and determine which parts of the text or speech are useful. Some of the applications of NLP include speech recognition, Twitter's sentiment analysis which is used to filter hate language from various tweets and spam detection. Lastly, we'll move on to robotics. As the name suggests, robotics involve the programming and designing of robots. Robots are often deployed to perform tasks which are laborious and difficult for humans to perform. Robotics is probably the only field where software, electronics and mechanics are brought together. It has computer programs that tell the robot what, when and how to perform a particular task. It consists of mechanical components for performing that task and it has electrical elements for providing power and controlling the machinery. Some of the main applications of robotics are manufacturing, military applications, outer space applications and health service. With the number of applications of AI increasing each day, people might only think of one question. Will AI eat up jobs in the future? Not all the applications of AI are the same as factory automation or robotics. Industry sectors which involve manufacturing goods and products thrive on efficiency and low cost. They would save so much investing on AI when compared to investing in human labor. In fact, some factories in the world have already made their complete process automatic and there are more factories which will follow the same feat in the future. But there is no need to panic because reports from various giant firms state that AI will create a plethora of new jobs. Experts also think that if anything AI will do in the future, it will be creating new jobs. The jobs we don't even know that they existed in the first place. In fact, PwC predicts that over the next 20 years, AI will create around 7.2 million jobs in the UK alone. That being said, yes, it will displace some jobs, but not all the jobs in the world. I hope this gave you some clear cut insights on what AI is, how it works and the subdomains of AI. Please do subscribe to not miss out on more such content. Keep learning and goodbye.